do subscribe to Egeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering, HSC and IIT JE main and advanced videos. When I talk about mRNA, mRNA is also called as messenger RNA and this messenger RNA basically has messages present on its surface which helps in protein synthesis or you can say the synthesis of amino acids, growth hormones, all the enzymes that is needed in your body, all the traits, the color of your eyes, etc. all of them. Now how does this get this information present on DNA has this information present on its surface. What happens is during the process of transcription, the information from DNA is copied on mRNA or messenger RNA in the form of triplet codons. And now this triplet codons serves as a message for synthesis of amino acids or you can say proteins. When you see the structure of mRNA, mRNA is basically single stranded. It has orientation from 5' direction to 3' direction. It has codons which are triplet in nature. When I say codons, triplet in nature means it has codons in a group of 3. And each codon present in the group of 3 will code for one amino acid. Now, if mRNA has codons, tRNA has anticodons. And when they together come, then the synthesis of protein takes place. mRNA, tRNA and RNA together help in this protein synthesis. Messenger RNA or mRNA is basically formed after DNA replication is done. So one strand of DNA, as we all know, the DNA is helical in nature. One helical strand of the DNA is copied. That is one side of the DNA is copied and messenger RNA gets from there its all messages or you can say information just to make that protein synthesis. And any alterations or deletions in this codons, which could be frame shift mutation, single mutations, anything of those can lead to problems in protein synthesis. Imagine if insulin is not produced in your body, do you think glucose will be used properly? And if glucose is not used properly, then you could be diabetic, which is genetic. Now, if there is a problem in one of those codons present on mRNA or mRNA has did some mistake during that protein synthesis, you may land up with a genetic disease. mRNA or sometimes it is called as messenger RNA is one of the RNAs responsible for protein synthesis. Now basically mRNA is single stranded and it copies down the sequence of nitrogen bases which is ATGC from DNA strand in the nucleus. So the information to make protein is basically on the DNA which is copied by mRNA during the process of translation. It brings the nitrogen base sequence to ribosomes in the cytoplasm. We all know that during protein synthesis, mRNA comes in contact with ribosomes and this ribosomes attaches to the triplet codon or messages on the mRNA. Basically, mRNA provides the sequence for synthesis.
mRNA what it does is that it provides amino acids sequence with the help of tRNA. Now tRNA will have the anti-codon sequence whereas the amino acid sequence on mRNA is the codon sequence. Messenger RNA is the first RNA that is involved in protein synthesis or polypeptide sequence synthesis. As you can see in this diagram, this is a structure of mRNA or you can say messenger RNA. Now basically mRNA is single stranded. As you can see in this diagram, it orients in the direction of 5' to 3' whereas your DNA is double stranded and its orientation are 5' to 3' and 3' to 5'. mRNA will have messages and these messages are nothing but in the form of codons. As you can see, these are in the triplets of 3. AUG for example is the first codon which codes for amino acid methionine. Now there are codons present on mRNA which will code for different amino acid and whenever protein synthesis has to stop then the stop codon is there and stop codons here is basically UGA. There could be other stop codons also. Students in this part of the chapter we have studied about your messenger RNA how a messenger RNA having information helps to synthesize your proteins and without which protein synthesis could come just to standstill. I hope you all are clear about this concept. Thank you.